program presented by the Brenham Church of Christ Youth and Children's Ministry. We are so glad that you have chosen to join us in this new year of 2021. For those of you who are kids or teenagers, we hope that you will also join us on the first Sunday of each month for our in-person youth and children's church right after communion, outside or in the gym, depending on weather. We will also continue to have our live Zoom Bible classes on the other Sundays at 11 each month and on Wednesdays at 6. Please remember to click the share button and the subscribe button. Thank you for helping us reach our goal of in 2020 of 100 subscribers. Help us reach our new goal in 2021 of 150 subscribers. Now enjoy the program and remember, let your light shine. chapter 40 verse 14 but remember me when it is well with you and please show kindness to me make mention of me to Pharaoh and get me out of his house hey guys welcome back to another game station my name is Dustin and today we're going to be learning about Genesis chapter 40 and the game we're playing is rapid fire make sure you listen up I'm going to tell you all the things you need to know to win this game Let's go, let's do medium, because I think I'm medium good at this. Uh, what made the butler and baker sad? Oh, they didn't understand the dreams they had. He was in pri or they were all in prison and Joseph was interpreting their dreams. What did Joseph ask of the butler? Um, oh, to remember him restored and get him out of prison, but he didn't do it. Who was put in charge of the two men in prison for offending the king? Joseph, Joseph was put in charge because he was obviously blessed by God. What did they need to figure out their dreams? Uh, and it's, guess who was that? Joseph. What happened in the baker's dream? Um, okay, upper, oh, baker. oh, it was all of the above. Dang, that was, that was hard. It was all of what I was clicking. Did the chief butler remember Joseph when he was restored? No, isn't that sad? No but it gets better. What happened in the butler's dream? All of the above is the question. But essentially in the butler's dream, he didn't get what uh, he asked for. He was the, um, I think he was actually the cup bearer, but the butler. What was Joseph uh, Joseph's interpretation of butler's dream? Um, he would then put the Pharaoh's cup in his hand like, nope, within three days he would restore the butler. Oh, all of the above. Oh, see, again, all of the above. So, yeah, he would, he would again give the cup to Pharaoh, which means he would have his job. What two men were placed in prison for offending the king of Egypt? That was the butler and the baker. The butler and the baker. Uh, what was Joseph's interpretation of the baker's dream? Oh, uh, three baskets for three days. The birds would eat his flesh. Three days Pharaoh would have him hang all the above. Yeah, uh, so the baker was actually bad and the butler was actually good and that's it uh score is 1200 points and yeah so that's it for this game station make sure you check out the only boat to play this game to get a higher score than i do and i will see y'all next week bye
the Faithful Hall of Fame, Joseph. This is Joseph, A, who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. He was his father's favorite, so his brothers hated him oh. and sold him into slavery. Yep. You see, Joseph was taken to Egypt, Ooh. and Potiphar, one of the Pharaoh's officials, bought him for his household. God was with Joseph, and he did well in Potiphar's house. Oh! Potiphar saw that God made everything Joseph did a success. Aha! So he put Joseph in charge of his whole house. Yeah! And God blessed Potiphar's house because of this. Potiphar's wife saw how well Joseph was doing in the house, and she wanted to make him do bad things. Joseph ran away from her because he wanted nothing to do with someone who would try to make him do the wrong thing. This made Potiphar's wife angry, and she wanted to be rid of Joseph. Huh? So she lied and made Potiphar believe that Joseph had done the bad things that she wanted him to do. Potiphar burned with anger against Joseph and sent him to prison. While Joseph was in prison, again, he did well and the warden soon made him responsible for all that was done there. God was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. When two full years had passed, Pharaoh was having unsettling dreams. Pharaoh did not understand his dreams, so he sent for Joseph. Pharaoh asked Joseph to tell him the meaning of his dreams. With God's help, Joseph told Pharaoh that the dreams told of what could come in the future, and he explained all the dreams to the Pharaoh. Pharaoh believed that what Joseph was saying was true. He trusted Joseph as a wise man, and he put him in charge of the land of Egypt, of Pharaoh's palace, and of all his people. Thank you for watching this week's episode of the YCA Lantern. We hope you are encouraged and uplifted by today's program. Tune in each week as we explore the book of Genesis together. Find us on YouTube by searching for Brenham Church of Christ, and while you're there, catch old episodes or even past worship services. Help us reach our next goal of 150 subscribers by liking, subscribing, and sharing our channel with your family and friends. And remember, let your light shine in 2021. Jesus is the light.